Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. A few VAR talking points as always um, and I will bring them talking points up when I get down to certain change fixtures. A few results, I can't say slightly against the odds, I think a few of the results were fair. Um, just to give you an update, there's no fixture for Liverpool or West Ham this weekend. Liverpool are obviously at the Club World Cup um, and I don't know why West Ham unless they're supposed to be playing West Ham this weekend but as I said I'm not too sure about that so if you do know please feel free to update me um, but anyway guys you know what to do so guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go So the first game I'm going to talk about is Everton versus Arsenal. Everton 1-1 um, away to Man United. Arsenal losing 3-0 at home to Manchester City. There was this talking point um, about the Everton goal. Should it have stood? Um, my belief when I saw it is yes. Um, it should have stood. Um, I'll tell you why, um, if you remember back to the Brighton Wolves game, Wolves done a sort of opposite goal with arm on the Matty Ryan. Um, and this is where I say, this is where I like VAR, because you're seeing all the mistakes that our referees are making. Um, calling it one way one week and then not doing it the other. Um, but this is why I like VAR, because we've got the backup. Um, this game's going to be interesting. Obviously... Um, Mikel Teta and Carlo Ancelotti, sorry for which patch I most probably have, um, look like to become the new managers of both of these clubs. Um, I don't think Mikel Teta is the right man for Arsenal. Um, um, the, who looks like the new Everton manager? Um, does it like, you know, it could be a perfect fit, but I, think, I feel sorry for Doug Ferguson. If he does get this job, I think Doug Ferguson done a good couple of weeks at the job, give him a go. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Everton win. My next one is Aston Villa versus Southampton. Um, Southampton losing 1 0 at home to West Ham. Um, Villa losing 2 0 away to um, Sheffield United. Um, this game is crucial. Both teams are, you know, I think you've got one sitting in the relegation zone, you should have Southampton in 18th, and you've got Villa just above them in 17th. Um, draw on points, goal difference is what separate. What separates them in the table position. Um, but as I said, this game shall be interesting for a matter of reasons, which one will go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Bournemouth versus Burnley. Um, Burnley beating Newcastle 1 0 at home. Um, you know, great three points for Burnley after having a couple of um, disappointing weeks. Bournemouth beating Chelsea 1-0 away from home. This is another VAR talking point. I've seen the Bournemouth goal, and I want to know how did that stand. Um, not the player that took the shot, but the player, there's a player offside, and um, well off for what I can say, unless I miss something, but, um, you know, it's well offside in the keeper's eye line. And the, the offside will state... If you're interfering with play in any way, the goal's not going to be given. So how's that goal stood? Um, this is what I'm saying. With a VAR backup, we know they're making mistakes and big ones as well. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for another one-all scoreline 
for that one. My next one is Brighton over Albion versus Sheffield United. Sheffield United um, 2-2, uh, no sorry, uh, winning 2-0 at home to Aston Villa. Brighton uh, drawing 1-1 away to Crystal Palace. Um, I've probably said a good point for Brighton. Um, I'll look at that, I'll watch that game, um, funny enough, and uh, you know, Brighton were on top until about the hour mark, and then Palace just, I don't know what, just came out on top, and I think Brighton were very lucky to get the point out of that. Um, Sh Sheffield United, we're going to be a bit of a, you know, I think with Sheffield United, you've got to take your chances. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1-0 Brighton win. My next one is Newcastle versus Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace 1-1 one, one at home to Brighton and Hove Albion. Um, Newcastle losing 1-0 away from home to Burnley. Um, this game, I mean... Let's look at the table for a minute. Crystal Palace in 9th. Uh, Newcastle in 11th. Um, yeah, again, it could be another table changing game, which one I'll go for a 1-0 Newcastle win. My next one is Norwich versus Wolverhampton. Um, Norwich 1-1 one, one at Leicester City. Great point for um, Norwich there. And uh, Wolves losing 2 1 at home to, to, uh, to Tottenham. Um, that, uh, I think Norwich could have had a couple of more as well. Um, and Wolves were very unlucky to lose to Tottenham. Last minute goal by Tottenham to steal all three points. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one, and it'd be much going to be looking forward to sitting down and watching, is Manchester City versus Leicester. Um, Manchester City uh, beating Arsenal 3-0 away from home. Uh, Leicester 1-1. One, one at home to Norwich. I've already stated about um, Norwich could have had a couple of more goals. Same with Leicester, I think. Um, you know, it's very much, you know, a good game that was. Um, Man City, where are they going this season? They're already, what, uh, 14 points off uh, Liverpool. Um, and because of the Club World Cup, Liverpool will have a game in hand. Um, Man City are going to have to win this one. Um, even if I do win it, I cannot claim back second spot. Leicester on 39, Man City on 35. Um, I'm going to go for a Leicester win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Leicester win. My next one is Watford. Versus Manchester United. Um, Watford losing 2 0 away to Liverpool, and Watford did have their chances up at Anfield as well. Um, Man United 1 1 at home to Everton. Um, as I said, Watford did have their chances up at Liverpool, just couldn't take them. Um, it's Nigel Pearson, you know, possibly their saviour. Um, currently, as it stands, they are. Six points off the safety zone. It's a lot of work that needs to be done. And it's just literally coming up with 19 games left at the minute. It's 21. Um, but this game is going to be interesting for a matter of reason. Man United do not look as confident as they were. Um, you know, even 1-1 one -one against Everton. Um, so I'm going to go for a shocking result. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 Watford win. My, ne my next one and my last one for this weekend is Tottenham Hotspur versus Chelsea. Um, Tottenham 
beating Wolverhampton 2-1 away from home. Chelsea losing one nil at home to Bournemouth. Um, Chelsea did have their chances in that game as well. Just couldn't take them. Um, Tottenham. This game's got to be a bit of a, um, you know, a good game. I think on the guess this Sunday half four kickoff. Um, Mourinho against Frank Lampard. Um, you know, this game's going to have a load of emotion for both sides. Both managers going up against each other. Which one going to go for a 2-2 two, two scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Give us a big fuck up if you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Cheers now.